Welcome to the Community Youth Live pre-show. We are so glad you are here tonight. Thanks for joining us. Let's go ahead and kick off the show with a few memes or funny videos from the week. First up is Corona-free fast food. Take a look at this. Thanks, bro. Wait, I am going to show this to you again and in slow motion. I want you to pay attention to the guy at the drive through window. He is not having any of that. Perhaps you also saw the meme of Dion Braxton. He kind of just accidentally went viral this week. Check it out. You see, Dion was filming at Yellowstone National Park and a herd of bison started coming after him. Take a look at the video behind the meme. Three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not messing with you. Mm -mm. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. <laughs> I also had to watch that several times because I just kept laughing. So last couple of videos for the night, which might be a little more relatable to me than other people, but I still think that you will enjoy it. See, I can definitely relate to this pastor. You know, none of us are used to being on camera all the time, but this past Sunday, this pastor could not get himself together enough to videotape his sermon. Check it out. Well, well, well. Good morning, and uh, welcome, welcome to church this morning. Well, I, have to, I have to say this is, no, I want to start, well, well, well. Uh, first, first one, first, first for me. Let's start with our Old Testament reading this morning, uh, which comes from the prophet Isaiah, I'm sorry, the prophet Jeremiah. Uh, Isaiah. As we get started to, you know, in our worship service this morning, and uh, the sword to the sword, and those who are to famine, to, for fam, for to fam, for fam, for. Then Moses said to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses. Then the Lord said to me, not Moses, though. No. Whatever. As well, I mean, if, if anyone is in... I can't believe I got 10 minutes into this and I... To, to be here worshiping this morning with our church members outside of these. I don't want to say member. I don't want to say church member. Here on, you know, during... That it is almost time for God... To go to 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 to, 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 to team. This is a message from the Lord. This is this this message. This mess. This the fig fig tree. Fig tree is a good example. Wow, it's rough out there, Pastor. It's rough. Then, of course, there was the Catholic priest who didn't turn off his filters on his device before starting Mass or their Catholic service. Check this out. Buonasera. Ci ritroviamo insieme per pregare, io in chiesa e voi a casa. Oggi è venerdì di Quaresima e vogliamo pregare con la Via Crucis. Thankfully, most of his congregation just really enjoyed the laugh, and I hope you did too. That's all I've got for now. Community Youth Live starts in five minutes, and the countdown starts now.
education Guess I haven't got the education I don't really have an explanation
Community Youth Live. We've got a great show in store for you tonight, so we are glad that you've joined us. You know, we're just a couple of weeks out from Easter, so we're kicking off our new series called Worth It. To some people, the Easter season is all about candy, bunnies, and colorful eggs. And of course, Easter is a time for joy and celebration. But that's not the whole story. Because before we can celebrate the joy of Jesus' victory, we have to first remember the pain of Jesus' suffering. Did you know that the Jesus who suffered for you suffers with you? He knows what we're going through right now. He knows how hard this truly is for us. You know, I can't wait to dive into the message later on tonight, as you can tell. But first, we've got some fun in store for this evening. Be sure to hop on the chat and say hello so we know you're here. Use your real name so we can contact you if you are selected for any of our prizes. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check in with Cassie at the news desk. Cassie, it's on to you. Hey everyone, welcome to Community Youth Live. I'm Cassie, your middle school youth leader. Hey, and I am Lexi, the youth pastor here at Community. Whoa, we are one week into this shelter in place issue, right? And I used to think that I was kind of a homebody, like I could hang out at home all week in my PJs, just living it up. Yes. I was wrong. So I'm, I'm over it. How are you feeling, Cassie? Yeah, I've been struggling a little bit. So I kind of feel like we're probably not the only ones who are struggling, though. So why don't we cheer some people up and do a giveaway? How about that? Let's do it. All right. Here's what I did. I entered the names of everyone who either texted me this week or sent me some fun pictures this week or commented on our social media throughout the week into my name picker and randomly picked a name right before the show began. And the name that came out is... Becca Adair. Becca, you are going home with a $10 Ooh. Amazon gift card. One of our youth leaders is going to contact you. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, Becca sent us some fun pictures. I want to show you guys. So check out, here's the first picture that Becca sent in to us. Her and her sister who's back from college. And then the second one is probably the most epic family picture I have ever seen in my life. You ready for this? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> homeschool musical. I love it. Aren't we all feeling like we're part of a homeschool musical right now? Yes, definitely. Amazing. We are all in this together. So congratulations, Becca. Yes, congratulations. There are still more chances to win this evening. Keep commenting in the chat. Be sure to use your real name. Every comment is an entry into our other giveaways. Absolutely. We're keeping track. So how about we play a game next? Okay, let's do I'm going to go get ready. Pastor David and Grace are here to complete in a little, compete in a little fun game called Kid Drawings. Let's see who will be the champion. All right, so Pastor David and Grace stopped by this evening to play our game called Kid Drawings. And the first place winner is going to go home with our COVID 2020 survival kit, which of course includes three rolls of toilet paper, one jar of Pringles, and some games to play while you're bored and sheltering at home. Our second place winner is going to go home with a gift certificate for a free shake from Culver's. Boy, that sounds better than the COVID kit. <laughs> wow. So you at home will also have an opportunity to win. All you have to do is play along and put your guesses in the chat box. And then at the end of the game, we are going to pick a winner to receive a $5 gift certificate to Amazon. The way this game works is that we will put up a picture of a kid drawing, and then our contestants are gonna guess what that drawing is of. And the first person to write down the correct guess wins a point. Does that all make sense? Hey. All right. So do you want the shake or the COVID kit? Probably the shakes. Yeah. Sure. So we're fighting for second <laughs> we're fighting place. fighting for second place. Maybe that's officially the first place, but there's toilet paper in there, you guys. Oh, hey. That could be important. All right, let's play. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the first finish? We are. Or I am. Are you? Yes. All right. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? It is a cat. Oh, <laughs> that's a bummer. You may get the shake. Pastor <laughs> 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 David gets one point. All right. Here is our second image. Oh, okay. I think Pastor David actually got it right. 
it up first. <laughs> it is saving baby most. Oh, I'm gonna get the toilet paper instead of the shake. <laughs> What did she have? It is actually bagpipes. bagpipes. Ooh, you got bagpipes. Great. Way to go. Got a point. Lion, lion, monster, or an alien turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a flying larva monster. I had to go with alien turd. I mean, that was just too good an answer there. Pass up. <laughs> I mean, just imagine your kids yeah. showing you that. Just look, I drew an alien turd. Reminds me of the backhanded compliment of the chocolate covered turd. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ready for the next one? Oh, those guys to Mickey Mouse. It is Mickey Mouse. But you got first. first. I did. Hey. Hey, what'd you put? You put gravity. gravity. All right. But then again, you have to think, would a kid know what gravity is? I know. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I went with turd. <laughs> Battle over the great COVID kit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a monkey or a frog? Uh, I'll put a frog. Okay, both guess frog. It, it is. Frog. But you Let's got it first. It did. Toilet paper coming your way. Oh boy. <laughs> She's trouncing me. Started out with the lead and now she's trouncing me. Oh. How many of these are there? This is the last one. Oh, guess what? You get the toilet paper. Oh boy. <laughs> I give you a high five, but can't do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Grace takes the win. We've got six to four. Sorry, Pastor David. Okay. You do not get the emergency supply of Pringles and toilet paper. I do That's love Pringles. Going home those are my favorite chips. Here we <laughs> are. All right, back to you, Cassie, at the news desk. Great job, Grace. I was rooting for you. <laughs> so while we're trying to figure out who at home is going to get a $5 gift certificate, I thought we could share some of our favorite cringe-worthy jokes. Are you up for it? Yes. Okay, awesome. Here's the way it's going to go. Me and Cassie and some other of our friends are going to share some cringe-worthy jokes, and you're going to be rating them at home. So you will rate us on a scale of one to five. One will be I smiled, and then five would be like roll on the floor laughing. Makes sense. Slapper. Oh, it's a knee slapper. All right. How about you go first? <laughs> okay. Need an arc? Sure. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So be sure to put your rating scale of one to five into the chat box. Put Cassie's name in there, too, so we know who you're rating. Um, and then I think we have another joke coming up next. So we are going to go to the Dawson boys, and they sent in this joke for us. Dawson boy. Dawson boys have a funny joke. Mason? Why do sharks swim in salt water? I don't know. Why? Because Pepper makes them sneeze. Ha, 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 ha. Pepper makes them sneeze. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, be sure to put Dawson boys in the new rating in the comment box. Are you ready for my joke, Cassie? Yes, okay. I'm ready. Okay, how does Moses make tea? How? He brews it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Be sure to vote for Lexi. Now, Brian is an overachiever. He did three jokes. Here's his first. Hey, guys. So uh, in my downtime, I've had some time to uh, do some reading. I came across this article, really interesting article about how holy water is made. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. All you have to do is uh, boil the hell out of it. <laughs> I don't think I should have laughed at that, but I totally did. Okay, here's Brian's second joke. Hey, Becca, knock, knock. Who's there? Mustache. Mustache who? Must ask you a question, but I'll shave it for later. <laughs> I'll shave it for later. Oh my gosh. And it's a dad joke factory up in there. Yes. <laughs> And the last one. Hey guys, man, getting to do a lot of reading and uh, came across another really great article. Uh, it was talking about french fries and did you guys know that french fries weren't originally fried here in America or France? Nope, turns out they were fried in Greece. <laughs> they were oh fried in God. Greece, get it? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So while we were all laughing it up, we figured out who is the winner. Actually, Brian is the one who did the drawing. And Katie, you are getting a $5 Amazon Woo! gift card. Congratulations. Your youth leader is going to be texting you in just a minute to get that gift certificate to you. So, hey, I think it's about time for me to go prepare for the message. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. See ya. Tonight is the first message in our Worth It series. Our message is coming from Matthew 26. We'll explore proof that Jesus thinks we're worth the sacrifice he made. But first, let's hear a word from Erica Rodriguez. Can you believe Easter is right around the corner? I know Easter probably makes you think about happy things like candy, colorful eggs, and wearing your Sunday's vest. You know how we do. But the truth is, the reason for Easter season isn't all rainbows and butterflies. So while it might end in victory and celebration, it also begins with grief and pain. In the book of Matthew, we read about how Jesus suffered on Good Friday and the days leading up to it. You probably know that Jesus died a terrible death but did you also know that he was let down and betrayed by his BFFs? Listen, friend, Jesus didn't just suffer. He suffered because he thought you were worth it. And if you're hurting right now, know this, Jesus gets it. Jesus gets it, friend. The Jesus who suffered, suffers with you. Can you believe that Easter is right around the corner? Think about some of your favorite Easter traditions. I have two. We used to really enjoy coloring Easter eggs, and my sister and I would compete to make the prettiest eggs. We were really competitive. We would spend hours doing this. I tried to get really creative about the way I decorated mine, but they never quite turned out as beautiful as the eggs that were on the box. My other favorite tradition is making deviled eggs, and I always thought it was kind of a weird tradition to make anything deviled, on Easter and it's also kind of weird that we eat ham on Easter when Jesus was Jewish and wouldn't have eaten any pork but I digress I love deviled eggs nonetheless and my grandma had the best deviled egg recipe I don't know what your grandma makes but my grandma's is the best it's decided they were so good I mean I would dream about these deviled eggs and then one year on Easter my aunts got in a huge fight, and I have no idea what this fight was about. I can't remember. But one of my aunts took the giant tray of deviled eggs, and she threw it, and it landed all over someone's car and made a giant mess. No more delicious eggs for me that day. It was so sad. It was a tragic, 
day. And while I still love deviled eggs, I can't eat them or really even think about them without remembering that day. Have you ever had a crazy family drama like that ruin a perfectly good day? Probably not a perfectly good tray of deviled eggs, but nonetheless, it turns out that a lot of us have. You know, I used to be pretty embarrassed about sharing the deviled egg incident, as my family likes to call it. But after being comforted from many people who have also had some wacky family stories, I don't feel so bad about it. You see, when you have to endure something awful, I've always found that comfort is more powerful when it comes from someone who knows what it's like. And I don't know what kind of difficulty you are experiencing right now, or maybe you've experienced over the past year. Maybe sheltering in place has been really hard for you. I get that. Maybe you're sad about missing school or that traditional graduation that you had been looking forward to. Maybe it's sports injuries. Maybe you've been walking through something really typical like rejection, stress, disappointment, sickness, or loss. You see, when we're experiencing something difficult, sometimes the thing we need most is comfort from someone who understands what we're going through. You know, when life gets tough, it's really easy to start to think that we're alone, to feel like we're the only ones who have ever experienced what we're experiencing, and no one else could possibly understand what we're going through. When life is difficult, we might even wonder, why would God let this happen? Should I just give up? Is this all even worth it? This may come as a surprise, but even Jesus understands what it's like to ask all of these questions. If you've been around the church before, you've probably heard that Jesus died and then he rose from the dead a few days later, and that's why we celebrate Easter Sunday. But before we can talk about what happened after Jesus died, his resurrection, spoilers, Let's talk about what happened before, because I think Jesus has something to show us about suffering. In fact, I know he has something to show us. In Matthew 26, we read about Jesus experiencing something more than most of us can imagine. You see, he said goodbye to his friends. He was plotted against. He was let down by everyone he loved. He was arrested, he was taken to trial, he was sentenced to death, he was spit on, he was beaten, he was betrayed by two close friends. And we might imagine Jesus walked towards death with complete peace and composure, but the account of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane tells a different story. So I wanna go there. Let's look at Matthew 26, verses 36 through 39. And it says, then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little further, he fell to his face to the ground and he prayed, my father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. You know, the biblical account in Luke 22 gives us some more details of this moment. We see that Jesus was overwhelmed. He was in anguish and he was exhausted because he knew exactly what was about to happen. It even tells us that his sweat turned to blood, and that's a condition that can happen under extreme stress. In the final hours before Jesus' death, we see him asking, God, is there any other way? And if I were Jesus, I'd be asking another question too. God, is this even worth it? These people who betrayed me, forgotten about me, humiliated me, hurt me, and want to kill me, are they really worth this plan that you've come up with? And if I were Jesus, I think my answer might be no. But thankfully, I'm not Jesus. You see, he sees the big picture, and he loves us more than we could ever imagine. Is it worth it? We've already said that comfort matters more when it comes from someone who understands what we're going through. 
And if that's true, then Jesus can understand and comfort us better than anyone because he understands suffering better than anyone. You see, when life gets hard, one of the reasons we can hold firmly to Jesus is because he understands exactly what we're going through. And he's with us every step of the way. When Jesus stared death, torture, and humiliation in the face, he decided that, yes, you were worth it. And if following Jesus ever gets hard or exhausting, and it might be, In fact, it probably will be at points. The author of Hebrews, a book of the Bible that is filled with encouragement for Christians who are going through difficult trials. They were being persecuted in ways I can't even imagine. That book would say that, yes, Jesus is worth it too. Keep fighting the good fight. Finish that race. You see, life isn't easy. Following Jesus isn't easy. There might be days when you want to give up, but in those days, I hope you remember that God is with you and he understands you because the Jesus who suffered suffers with you. Tonight, our prayer comes from Ephesians 2, 1 through 10, and we put together a video so you can ponder the words from that scripture. As this next video plays, I want you to take a moment and just thank God for his great love for us. Let's go to him in prayer. I mean, he was fully human. And all those emotions that we think that we can't admit to God, you know, Jesus had the same kinds of emotions. We have an awesome God. And he can walk us through some really difficult times in our lives because he walked the earth just like us. He gets it. It's amazing. Yeah. Man, tonight has been good. I can't wait till next week. How about we do another giveaway before we say our goodbyes? You know, I kind of feel like it's getting close to being second dinner time. You know, right after you have dinner, maybe a little while after you have dinner. You start to get hungry again, either for something savory or maybe something sweet, a dessert. 
So I'm thinking tonight for our last giveaway, we should give away a red box code, and then we have a $25 gift certificate to Pizza Hut. So you can order a pizza, dessert, whatever you want. So Becca Dawson is at home, and she's been doing our drawings for tonight. And the winner for those two certificates is Claire Deerdorf. Congratulations, Claire. You're gonna be chilling like a villain this week, enjoying a movie and dinner. Congratulations, that's awesome. I think it's about time to say our goodbyes. Hop on Instagram or Community Covenant Church Lenexa YouTube this week to watch our one-minute devos. Leave comments for giveaway entries. Yeah, and high schoolers, our Zoom call is going to start in about 10 minutes, so be sure that you have the Zoom app downloaded and hop on the chat so we can catch up for the week. And middle schoolers, I will see you Wednesday night at 6.15 on Zoom. We want to give a special shout out to our production manager, Nathan Lang. Of course, our projection supervisor, Aiden Hall. Thanks to Pastor David and Grace for stopping by and playing our game this evening. And of course, all of our youth leaders behind the scenes making magic happen. Thank you for joining us at Community Youth Live. We hope to see you back next Sunday. Until then, enjoy this helpful commercial. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.